Good morning, I'm Joe Shudan with Coker Tire. I'm gonna to try to walk you through today with a couple of different installation techniques, uh, how to put together some Corvette wheels, get them on your car, and get you rolling. So today, first wheel we've got here, it's gonna be the knockoff wheel for the 63 to 64 Corvette. Uh, why is it a knockoff? Well, because it's held on with a spinner. This, won't, this wheel physically won't be bolted to your car. So the first step you wanna do, of course, is get all your parts laid out uh, you're going to get four boxes, you're going to have one wheel per box and a box of hardware. I've taken the liberty of pulling out some of the stuff to go ahead and uh, get you started taking up uh, with some time. This way you can go ahead and start getting everything together on your car. First thing you want to do, grab your adapters. These are what actually bolts onto your vehicle. The adapters are going to be marked left hand and right hand. They have a small L or a small R on the adapter. The left hand corresponds to the driver side of the vehicle, whereas the R would represent the passenger side. In America, when we refer to the left hand of the vehicle, we're referring to the driver's side. The right hand would be the passenger side. So you take your adapter, you want to clean off the back plate, make sure there's no grease, no film, nothing sticky. Uh, that could cause issues with uh, setting flush against the drum or the hub. Also want to do the same for your drum or hub on your vehicle. Make sure there's no debris, uh, no grease, no stickiness on there to allow this thing to set flush. Go ahead and put this on the vehicle with the supplied lug nuts. Go ahead and get it tightened down, torqued to the proper specs. Once you've got the adapter on, you're ready to start with the wheel. So for reference, we'll go ahead and put the adapter in here. What you want to do is try to line up these drive pin holes with the holes on the wheel. Uh, there's a hole there, one over there. The other holes will be for the lug nuts in case you've got longer lug nuts. Um, this will take up the space with those lug nuts. Now, the next issue you want to face is putting the cone on. Take your cone. Uh, Corvette America recommends that you put two beads of silicone, quarter inch thick, on the cone to keep it from rattling on the wheel, keep any sort of noise, vibration down. Put the cone on the wheel like so. The next part is you want to get your spinner. Now on the spinner, they're going to be labeled on the tabs. This one is labeled left hand. They'll also say right hand. Again, that corresponds to the side of the vehicle you're going to put it on, left being driver, right being passenger. They've also got the information on how to put these on. You got an off arrow pointing to the left on this one, so obviously you're going to thread it to the right. One visual reference to think about is since it's going to be on the driver's side, the car's going to be facing this way. The spinner itself is actually going to be facing the, uh, the saw blade area, as we like to refer to this too, will be facing the front of the car. So once we get this on, You've now got your wheel secure on the vehicle using the spinner. You want to hand tighten the spinner. Next thing you want to do is get the hammer out of your kit. You want to hit the spinner seven to eight times with the hammer, get it on there nice and tight. Once you've got that on nice and tight, go ahead and do that for the rest of the vehicles. Then you want to, the rest of the vehicle's wheels, then you want to take the vehicle, lower it down. You're going to take it for a road test. Uh, Corvette America recommends that you first start off under 10 miles an hour, listen for any kind of clicking, uh, any kind of noise or weird wobble sensation. You also, before you want to take it out on the test drive, you want to index your spinner to the adapter. Just make a little mark in here, just so you know where it's lined up currently. I would recommend using the uh, anti-theft pin holes on the spinner and guiding that against somewhere on the adapter. That'll kind of give you somewhere to start with. Once you get back from your road test, you want to look at your index marks, see if they match up. If they match up, go ahead and take it for another road test in increments of 10 miles per hour until you get up to about highway speed. As long as the indexing marks matches up with the marks, you're good to go. Now, if you notice when you get back from your road test and the index marks do not line up, please feel free to go ahead and tighten the spinner again because apparently it's come loose a little bit. Once you're done with the road test, you've got your index marks lined up and you've got it up to highway speed, there's no issues, no vibrations, no clicking sounds, no weird wobble sensations. The next thing you wanna do is take your bag of anti-theft pins or roll pins. These are tapered on one end 
uh, smaller than the other. And you want to take the tapered end of one pin, put it down into the anti-theft hole on the spinner that will be lined up with the adapter. Once you've got that done, you're free, feel free to put your cap on. Cap's got three tabs. Um, what you want to do is you want to take two tabs, put them underneath the top ring of the spinner. That'll lock them into place. Take the third tab, get it ready, put your thumb where the third tab will be on the edge, press down. If you press anywhere in the center of the cap or use any kind of other mechanism to put it on with, you take a risk of denting your cap. They will dent and or tear up easily and you don't want to ruin a cap. And this will cover putting your 63 to 64 wheel on again with a light finish. Now they do make bolt-ons and a dark finish for the uh, 65, 66 models. They make them in a light finish for the 63, 64 models. They also make knockoffs, just like these right here, and a dark finish for your 65 and 66 Corvette. For more information on wheels and tires for a classic car, please visit cokertire.com.